I don't know about you, but every time I go into my kitchen and find things disorganized and cluttered, I no longer want to cook, clean, or meal plan. It can feel very overwhelming and daunting. I'm not about that life. So today I'm going to be showing you 12 sneaky ways to declutter your kitchen as I declutter mine and reset it for the upcoming school year, which will reduce decision fatigue and stress. Yes. So the first thing I'm going to do is wipe everything down so I have a clear and clean surface to put all of my items on. I'm going to be working on one cabinet at a time. Anything that I don't need, use, or want will be placed on the counter and dealt with later. Hey there, I'm Bethany. I wanted to quickly introduce myself and let you know that I love creating content about simplifying homemaking and motherhood while being very intentional. All right, let's get back. So what I'm doing here is looking for any food or items that I have purchased for a recipe that I've never gotten to or compulsively bought. I'm also looking for some expired foods and some items I just no longer use or need. I like to store all of my food in the cabinets next to where I cook. It is so convenient to have everything right there. It's also easier for me to keep up with all the items that I own food-wise and makes emptying our dishwasher so much faster because I have moved all of those items to the pantry. So one of the things I noticed when I was going through my pots and pans was that I had duplicate lids for two pans. Last year when I decluttered my pans, I didn't know which ones I wanted to keep and I was just going to think about it, but I completely forgot about it. So I decided to keep the ones they originally come with. Here I'm going through my spices. I know there's a couple I do not use any longer and I'm also checking to see if I have any expired spices as well. It can be so easy to accidentally hoard spices. A lot of times I have purchased spices because I wanted to try a new recipe and I used it that one time, but then never did it again. Now, I just wanna say this. If you are someone who does not have the time or the energy to declutter your kitchen all in one day, I would recommend what I used to do when I first started decluttering and it was extremely overwhelming is I would just take one cabinet a day or one drawer a day or one area a day and over the course of a couple weeks I saw the progress and it, it was so great and took all the overwhelm out. So you could always try that. You don't have to do all in one day. It's very easy for me to do that now because I have been doing this for a couple years and probably took me about a total of 15 minutes, so you'll get there. Okay, so next up here is food storage. You wanna make sure you don't have too many, especially if you don't use them, and that each lid has a partner. I keep the partners together, so that way if there's any missing or runaway partners, I have inventory of them, y'all. It's a game changer. You also wanna keep your counter space as clear as possible. This way is great because your kitchen will look less cluttered and can also be more visually appealing. Another thing I like to add is that you do not need to keep every item that most kitchens have. If someone needs to tell you and you need permission, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Items like an air fryer or Instant Pot, you don't need if you don't use it. The next thing I did here was go through my medicine cabinet. I do this about one to two times per year and see what meds I actually use and what items are expired. So this got out of hand. I'm not sure <laughs> what went down this year, but it looks pretty rough. This was definitely the longest part of my decluttering the kitchen today. Would you look at the difference? So much better. Now, once you've decluttered your kitchen and you want to keep it maintained, another way is to put some tape on the food that is in your pantry and after six months, donate it if it's not used.
And don't forget to go through your seasonal dishes that you no longer use. We've had these cups for a few years, but now we're ready to part with them. And if your pantry is fully stocked, remember to always shop your own home before you go grocery shopping and meal plan accordingly. That way, it'll eliminate extra food in your pantry. Here is everything I decluttered today. And don't forget about your baking ware or anything else that may be chipping, broken, or is in bad shape. Keep the ones you usually use and grab and toss the others. Thanks for watching. See you next time.